Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome, once again, to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today, I've got kind of a tag for you. Uh, it's based on a video that Shelley Swearingen, yes, the great Shelley Swearingen, the legendary Shelley Swearingen, she did a video called All About My Personal Library, where she talks about her personal library and what it means to her, and she has a bunch of questions, and she invited other booktubers to do it if other booktubers chose to do it, and Greg from another Bibliophile Reads did it. Greg, who has the most majestic and fantastic personal library of all, it's pretty much the Library of Alexandria. He's pretty much got that in his basement. And uh, Criminali did it, uh, did a fantastic job, Criminali. And so I thought, oh, I might as well do it. You know, I could do the, I could do the crappy version of it. Uh, so I'm going to do this uh, sort of tag uh, created by Shelley Swearingen all about my personal library. And she's got a series of questions about the personal library. And I've got my handy dandy magic tablet here. Let's find out what my answers will be to Shelley's questions. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Questions. Do you have some books around or do you think of yourself as having a collection or personal library? I do have books lying around, but if I do consider myself to have a both a collection and a personal library. In fact, I film in the library. That is what this room is called because I got a bunch of books here and I've got books over there and I've got books over there and there and down here on the floor that you can't see. There are books down there too. There are books everywhere in here. It is my, it is my library. So yes, and I, I collect books as well. What does a collection or personal library mean to you? Uh, it is a bunch of books that I have access to. That's what it is. It's a comforting big pile of moldering paper with words on it, full of fantastic stories. Uh, I love it, my personal library. And I have both a library, like I said, and a collection. Uh, I, I collect some specific kinds of books, like these science fiction-y type of books, like this one. This is fantastic. This is Stories from the Twilight Zone by Rod Serling. This is one of my prized possessions. Uh, so old science fiction books I love to collect and this is one of them and then I've got like other stuff like this one and then I've got the Monster Man from Edgar Rice Burroughs. I collect Edgar Rice Burroughs books. That's a whole nother collection. And then I've got a lot of my books up here and I've got some fancy pants books. I'm collecting more than more of those. So, you know, both a library and a collection. Where am I anyway? Uh, what is your personal library for? It's for me. It's for me to read. Uh, that's all it's for. It's just for me to read. Uh, it's, well, it's for me to read, and it provides an escape. It's also a hobby. Collecting books is a hobby uh, for me. A, a wonderful hobby, along with the filming of the videos. That's another hobby, but... It's all together, you know, it's all together. Uh, what are we on now? Where is your personal library? Contained to a single room or spread out all about the house? Well, this is the library, like I said, but yes, I've got many other places throughout the house where there are books. In the hallway out there, I've got a lot of my comics, not all of them. Then over there, off, to the side of the dining room. There are more comics. And then in the living room or the parlor, as we call it here at Fancy Pants Vaughn Manor, off the parlor, parlor there, we've got more books. And then we've got a spare bedroom down there. And that is where the vault of ancient science fiction has been relocated, basically. Uh, and then, of course, I've got a I've got a lots of lots of other places. It's it's just I have a lot of books. Yeah, so it's all over. But this is the library. Okay. How many books make up your personal library? I 
have no idea. I don't even want to count how many books I have. I have a lot. I have a lot. You can watch uh, my books that time forgot video and count every book that that I have in those videos. I have even more than that. A lot more than that, actually. Because um, I didn't even mention any of these books in those series in that series of videos. Um, you've probably seen them, seen a lot of them, uh, but but you didn't see. I got a lot of books. I have no idea. That's too many to count. I'm bad at counting. I, I, I'm terrible at math. Where am I? Uh, how do you organize your personal library? Organize. That is a good idea. That whole organization idea. I should look into that. The whole organize your books. I like that. Well, I do have it sort of organized. I've got some fancy pants books here. I've got a barking dog out there. I've got uh, my comics over there. There's a bit of organization. All the, a lot of the science fiction is together, um, which I will take you through one day. Uh, I've got, uh, it's, there's a bit of organization, but it could really use like a real organization. Where am I? Uh, do you keep track of your personal library? If so, how? Just in my dopey head. Just in my dopey head do I keep track. Um, my dog's in the other room causing trouble, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't, I, just in my memory, that's the only way. It's bar I barely keep track of my personal library, actually. How do you decide to add a book to your personal library? Um, how do I decide? If I want a book, I buy it. Um, I'm a little bit more choosy now than I was, say, a year or two ago, because I've got a ton of books that I still need to read. But like I said, the books that I kind of collect, I'm still collecting those. And so I'm kind of focusing on a couple different types of books. You know, hold on. Don't you know? You're supposed to behave yourself? Behave yourself, little one. I'm doing a Shelly Swearingen video, or, or a tag video created by Shelly Swearingen. You know Shelly Swearingen. Big fan of Shelly, this one right here. Okay, so are you going to behave? Behave, behave. She's not gonna behave. She's over there already acting like she's not gonna behave. Okay, we'll see. Anyway, where was I? My tablet turned off in that ruckus. When it's time... <laughs> when it's time to murder your dog... Be good. Be good. Okay, can you just not freak out, you terrible creature? Look at her. She's insane. Why are you so crazy? Hmm? Why are you so crazy? Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. When it's time to cull your personal library, how do you decide what stays and what goes? Cull? Um, basically, I will get, I'm planning on getting rid of things that I have doubles of, or triples of, or four or five or six copies of. Those I'm going to get rid of. Other books, if I know I'm never ever going to read them again, I will get rid of. Although, you have to be careful, because you never know, you might want to read that book in four or five years, and it would be handy to have it around. So, there should be more culling than there is, but there are some I'm going to unhaul soon. I'm gonna get right on that. Okay, where am I? Does your personal library have books you haven't read or may not read? Uh, of course, I mean, what's the point of having a ton of books around that you've read already? Uh, I've, I've got a ton of books I haven't read yet, like a lot, um, a, a vast amount of books that I have not read yet, yes. And I'll get to them one of these days, I hope. What do you think about the idea of a zero TBR? I think it's an awful idea. No, there's always something I know I'm going to read next. That's just the way it is with me. I, there's always probably several books 
that I know I want to get to next. Um, and that could change, of course. I have no set in stone TBR. Um, but yeah, I don't like the idea of just, I like to be able to just finish a book and have the next book ready to go, you know? So I always, whenever I'm reading a book, I know what I'm going to be reading next, for sure. Probably I know the next several books I'm going to be reading next. Um, but yeah, always. Okay, and the last question. How do you feel about towards your personal library? I love it. Obviously, I love my personal library. It is fantastic. It's a wonderful, wonderful personal library. Um, it's strange when you think about it because it will last longer than I will and eventually it'll be scattered to the high winds. Um, well, not really. It's all going to be, it's all going to be dumped on David Wiley's lawn. That's probably what's going to happen. Literally, there's going to be a truck loaded with my personal library and it's going to go straight to David Wiley's house. I, I actually am going to put that in my will. So that's what's going to happen to my library. Because he says he might open a bookstore one day. He's going to need some stock. But, uh, yeah, but I love my personal library. It is fantastic. You know, it's a wonderful thing. Um, and Criminali was mentioning that you don't really need a physical library because Criminali has, he considers his Kindle library to be a part of his library. I was thinking about that. I kind of feel like, I've always felt like my Kindle library was separate somehow. Although really, it is a library because it's a bunch of books that, you're, that's, that are accessible to you. So yeah, that's part of it too. Um, so you don't need like a huge, massive library, physical library in today's world. Uh, you could just have a digital library uh, that can be just as effective, really. Uh, but I do love it. And I have a soft spot for physical books anyway, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, I love my personal library. Okay, I've, talk I've talked long enough. I will catch you next time. You know, I don't think I'm going to have a video up tomorrow. I know, shocking. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do one. I don't, th I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Sunday Penguin this week, guys. Uh, but I will see you Monday for sure. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time.